Welcome to Gotcha News. I am your very host, Sugma. And our very first news is Solo Leveling Arise has 5 million pre registrations. Now, this was something of a surprise to me, right? Something of a, huh, interesting. Because for starters, okay, we got to get some disclaimers out there first. Uh, obviously, I know what soul leveling is. It's a manhwa that has been adapted into an anime and this and that. So, you know, from, on, from now on, you know, in this video, I will refer to it as an anime. But I understand it's a manhwa. But anyway, that being said, anime gotchas are notoriously really bad, right? They're notoriously really bad. Just look at that one Crunchyroll game. I mean, to be fair, it was a Crunchyroll production, so, I mean, <laughs> it was a Crunchyroll production. Uh, but, you know, the Crunchyroll and, you know, other greedy companies, they they really ruin anime IP gacha games. You know what I mean? Like, um, One Punch Man World or whatever, like... There's like 21 Punch Man games that uh, Crunchyroll makes, and you know it's it's already fucked up the uh what is it? It's already fucked up the perception of all One Punch Man gacha games, and by extension the rest of anime gacha games. Like uh, remember what was it Sao Memory Defrag? People really liked, but um, Sao IF, which people don't like. People, it's like it's a dead community. It's a dead community. Um, that reincarnations, you know what is it? I reincarnate into a slime. That one, I never hear anything about, honestly. I assume it's good, but I, I absolutely hear nothing about it. Um, so, it's not as popular as, I guess, I think it is. I don't know. Uh, so, I was really surprised to see that this game actually is well-received. At least, like, the beginning of it. Um, I know, like, the beta came out for, like, Canada or something. And people were playing it, people were loving it. Uh, it's it's like a stage battler. I think of like Honkai Impact Third, uh, but like soul leveling esque. And you know, you get four members, and you know, you got the MC, and then you got other characters like this and that. You know, that appear in the in the manhwa and in the anime. This and that, and um, yeah, people really seem to like it. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm covering it now because hey. You're telling me an anime IP gacha game doing pretty well? Doing pretty, you know, good? Despite it being an anime adaptation? I, I heard even the story so far, like the retelling of it, is actually pretty decent. Which is a good job. Good job from the uh, Soul of a Rise uh, dev team. Good job. Good, good job to you, Tep. Good job to you guys. Our next news is... Persona 5 The Phantom X has already gotten 10 million pre-registrations in China. And they're releasing in like other places like Korea and like Japan and shit like that. And uh, so far we haven't heard shit when it comes to a global release. Honestly, when I first saw this, I was like, damn, they're making a Persona 5, uh, what is it, gotcha game next. Like you just go play the... Just, just go play the Persona games. You know what I mean? Just go play those. Like they're probably just gonna like monetize the shit or something. But in reality, when I was like looking at the trailers and stuff, right? When I was looking at the trailers, I was looking at the promotional work, all that other stuff, right? I was really impressed. I was like, this isn't a gotcha game that is using Persona IP. It's a Persona game that has gotcha mechanics in it. Which is pretty high praise. Like, that is pretty high praise. From the trailer alone, if you look at the gameplay, it lo it just looks like Persona. It looks like Persona 5, which is... That's the whole point. That's, it's a Persona 5 gotcha game. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, the fact that it looks like the actual base game is, like... That's a, that's a pretty good compliment. I mean, the character designs, they look and they feel, right? They feel part of the Persona 5 universe. Which is interesting. Which is cool. I like that. They don't. It doesn't feel out of place. 
You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not sure what the story is going to be like, um, but I'm excited to see it show up to global. I hope so. I hope it's not a China exclusive thing. I know everyone has been waiting for it to come to global, but I mean, who even knows, right? It's like China first, all the Asian countries, and then the West market. And uh, hopefully it shows up. Otherwise, this would be pretty sad, honestly. This, is, this would be a pretty sad miss. Because, yeah, you're you're getting a high-quality Persona game with gacha mechanics. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, that's, that's, that's like, that's like every gacha player's dream. You know what I mean? It's like every gacha player's dream at that point. You're getting a full, high-quality game. And you, know, you even get a little bit of gacha in the mix, which is pretty hype. And honestly, uh, if Global does come out, uh, yeah, this... This news network will be the first to cover it, all right? And, uh, yeah, that's that's about it, right? That's about it. When the world turns to shit, the only news source you can trust is GNN, goddammit. I've been your host, Sugma, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!